A pickup truck has smashed through the front of a barber shop. CBS 4's Rio Crane is live on the scene with more. Rio, good morning. Good morning, Mary Bell and Lauren. The damage at this store is extensive, but the cleanup is already well underway. This place looks a lot different than it did just about an hour ago. This barber shop is at 4880 Northwest 7th Street. It's hard to see from here. This is the owner's SUV that is blocking the view, but from the doors to the frame, the front of this business was essentially bulldozed overnight. It did have shutters on it that were no match for what a witness described as a pickup truck that rammed the front of the store. Take a look at the video from a little earlier this morning. The inside of the store covered with glass and debris, pieces of the wood frame, the business hanging. There were uh, the barber chairs hanging and flung every, everywhere. That witness tells us that she was passing by when she saw that pickup truck here in the parking lot. And then what happened next, she says, left little doubt in her mind that this place was a target. And next thing you know, all we hear is the truck backing into the barber shop, but like at full speed, like goes almost halfway in the barber shop comes out, um, he, he runs out, um, and he just doesn't care who's in the way, he just runs out, makes a left, um, and then just starts dropping everything he had in the back of his car all the way down here. And she says it really didn't look like they took anything. Uh, you can see that the owners and, and the workers in the store are in here trying to finish the cleanup right now. Like I said, it looks a lot better than it did just a few hours ago. Police did chase after that truck. We understand they located it, but they did not find a suspect or any stolen items. Now, we did talk to the owner a short time ago. The owner only speaks Spanish, but he did not want to appear on camera. He tells us actually that the same thing happened a little more than a month ago and that it took out his surveillance camera, so he has no video video of the incident. He didn't seem to want to say why he may have been a target, but he did say that his business would be back open today. We're live in Miami, Riel Creighton, CBS4 This Morning.